Hi everyone, this is Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie, and I'm coming at you from a different angle today. I am doing a um, time lapse on my diamond painting right now, and I do not want to mess with the way I have my tripod set up because it took me forever to get it in the right position. And the right position for that is not the right position for trying to show you this diamond painting. So, I'm coming to you from the side. This is a post, post review for the store Glymag on AliExpress. I did this rhinestone crystal uh, Siberia Tiger is what they call it. It is a partial. It is very large, but all in all, it is not very large. It's not a very large area to diamond paint. It's a 40 by 70, but as you can see, the majority of it is canvas. Or can you see? And you can see where all the shinies are. That is the drilling area. So you can see how pretty shiny it is. I have sealed this already. It's still drying, but it's very wet. <laughs> um, yeah, the aqua Tombow aqua glue. It it's great. It's gonna fill in. It's filling in all the gaps, and that's actually good because what I found on this diamond painting is that the glue, when you touch it, I mean, I'm not talking about the glue on top, but the pasting area, when you would touch the adhesive, it would feel sticky, but it was the, the slippery slidey type of sticky. So your drills would move around fairly easy. And I have found that when I'm doing a diamond painting like that, the ones on the edge tend to wander off the page by themselves if you don't seal it. So I'll link the um, aqua glue down below because I highly recommend it. I mean, look how beautiful this is. I mean, it's so sparkly. And there's a lot of light in here right now, so to be able to see all that sparkle with this much light, um, I'm definitely going to frame this as long as I have something big enough. Let's see. Let me get the big old piece of... Perfect. Yeah. This will be this um, foam board here. I'll make a perfect frame for it. And then I'll have a little bit left over for some teeny tiny drill paintings. Or diamond paintings. Drill paintings. <laughs> so, it's been a day. We went uh, school shop, back to school clothes shopping for Tesla. And I forget how expensive that can be. Because she is now out of the toddler section and into the children's section for clothes. So... Things were a bit more expensive. Anyway, what did I like about this? I I loved the beautiful colors. Um, the colors are not dull whatsoever. The smoky color in here really gives it a nice highlight. I mean, it looks really... I mean, it looks... I, I really love this. It looks beautiful. And I love how they sparkle. I love how quick and how quick it was to do. And it was pretty easy to manage. I was able to do this in the living room. When I got down to just um, needing to finish the rump and the tail, I brought it in here and finished it up last night. <clears throat> what I didn't like about it is that 
there was a couple of colors that I had a real problem with. Um, this is just a, a little bit of what I have left of the drills. If you can see here, they don't look real shiny. They look pretty uh, glassy because there were so many times where I would place the drill down and the paint on the bottom would actually come off. It would stay on the painting and the drill would stay in the pin, but the painting was left behind. So there's the, the silver is the paint that would be left on there. So I'd have to actually scrape the paint off and hope that it would stick. And that's another reason why I made sure to get this sealed right away because of those many spots where that happened. Here is, oh, these are so tiny. Here is one of the drills that the paint came off of. So you can see that there is no silver on it. Let me put my hand out because it wants to focus on the tiger. And so it's just left with just clear, like it looks like a glass bead. So that is what I didn't like about it. I didn't have any problems with running out of drills. I had plenty left over. I will show you here. Where is it? I shouldn't have filed it away already, huh? And my filing system is not the best right now. Hold on, I'll find it. Okay, I found it. Now I just, I just did this diamond painting out of the bags. I would just pour what I needed into the tray and go from there but oh gosh this is a really bad angle you know there's um one color there's i have a lot of the blacks left there's another one but i didn't run out in any of these colors i better not do it on there because it's still got glue on it i think that one was one of the ones that i had the least amount left no maybe that one these smoky colors but it was never really close. I mean, they all had a fair amount left. There's a lot of this one. So now I'm glad I have the rhinestone chart so that I can actually put these away. My DMC stones. Where I can match them up and at least give them a name. See, these ones down here have the AB finish on them. This is supposedly all the regular ones, but I don't see like the orange on there. Well, maybe there is. It's kind of sun. Kind of have to match them. See, oh yeah, that's not too bad. Light, light Siam. And then this silvery color is like mine silver. There we go. Or crystal. And then there's crystal high HQ. But yeah, so there aren't very many for me to have to do, but then there's the ABs. So that's really cool. I just realized that there's AB finishes on there. I can link this as well. I got this off AliExpress. It was like $9. But you might be able to find one less expensive. I think that was quite a bit money to pay for this considering the DMC chart for the regular drills is only ten dollars okay so just to go over some of the information about this I did get it on Aliexpress from Glymaga official store I will link that down below it is a round partial rhinestone painting 40 by 70 but the drilling the drilling area is 34 by 63 there's 11 colors it took 14 days to get here, and I paid $8.40. So I, I really think this is worth the $8.40 I paid for it. 
it's beautiful. It's going to look nice on a wall somewhere. I'd, I'd like to put it on the wall. I'm just not sure where I'd want to put it. And yeah, that's about all I have to say about this thing. It's a short um, post review, but I... I, it, it has my approval. It, it's just the one thing that was frustrating about the paint coming off of the bottoms of the drills. But other than that, it was perfect. I enjoyed it. It was fun working with the crystals. And it's even more fun seeing it after it's completed. Because this is just really pretty. Alright guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like, thumbs up, and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe because I do put out a lot of videos. Um, people do say that there's useful information in them, so <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to decide. But if you want to subscribe, I'd really love to have you in my diamond painting family. Join the Facebook group if you'd like. We do share our works in progress and people with questions and um, just new people are coming in all the time. People from Facebook that don't even know about the channel and, you know, they just have questions and are new to it. And everybody there is so helpful and it's just been a really nice place to just be able to share your diamond painting works and questions. So until my next video, which I think will be a drill with me, have fun diamond painting, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye.